Hey, how you doing? Do you go hang on your face? I think you do. I think you do, my friend. I see hair on your face. I know. Well, this video is for you. Okay? Enjoy. As my friend De Niro has just said, hair grows on your face. It's true. It is. It grows on everyone's face. Sis. Girls, guys, females, males, dogs, cats, everyone grows hair on their face. The thing is, males tend to shave it a little bit more often than the girls do. They do. Why? Because girls' hair is thinner, finer, prettier looking than men's hair. The fact of life is, we need to shave it a little bit more often than the females. Also, we like to keep it tight and clean. And that's what this video is about. To shave tight and clean. In order to achieve tight and clean, we need to do a little bit of an arts and crafts kind of project right now. You're going to need some white paint or whiteout if you still use that anymore. Do they even make whiteout anymore? I don't know. Check this out. As you can see on the razor or the blade thing, the thing in my bobs, is that the blade itself only goes so far to the edge on the sides, on each side, and it only goes so far on the bottom part and the top part. So what I'm saying is that, can you see that? I'm looking through the, <laughs> this is weird. I'm looking through the camera screen so it's hard to aim it properly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this side here up into the edge of the blade over here with white. And on the middle, Right here, we're gonna paint white here and here. So we know when we're shaving, because we can only see this side anyway, we're gonna know where to shave. Just dab that on there. Doesn't have to look pretty, because mind you, you're gonna be switching your blades all the time. So just get that white paint on there. See, it stands out quite well. And then. Get the sides, because this is where the blade ends. Right here is where the blade ends on the other side. And when you're done, you should have something that looks like that a little bit. So white on all the edges, on all the corners. Okay. You'll be able to get achieve tight corners and lines and all that other stuff with these without having to use a cutthroat or a uh, straight shave or whatever you call it. You know, one of those blades that go like this from the old school days. Which I do want, however, but I don't have one right now. And that's why I was thinking, you know, like this will make things a lot easier if, you know, if we have a paint, you know, a thing so we can see. So I'm going to try the Gillette Foamy Lemon Lime because I am using a Gillette Mach 3 blade on my head blade, which is convenient. Foamy. Lemon Lime. So I'll show you, I guess. Whoa. That's a lot that comes out. So put it on. Wait a minute. Am I shaving here? I'm not shaving my whole beard off. Sorry. I shouldn't be putting it there. Just put a little bit on this area here where you want to shave your lines. Okay, so once you got your cream on your face, what you're going to do is you're going to make an outline. You can use your finger to do this. So like this kind of. That kind of help, like that. And then on this side, to give you a rough idea of where you're going to be shaving. And I'm going to do in here and in here. So, like that. This is a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Okay, that's better. So, get your head blade or your regular razor and 
start shaving in the lines. So now that I got white lines on the other side of this blade, I can see exactly where I can go to get these tight edges. It's rough. When you get to the edge of your, if you have a goatee or something, you just pull it back a little bit. You can just go like this. Go like that in there. Nice and clean, perfect lines. Now, when you want to get into this corner right in here, what I usually do is I stick my tongue out into the inside of my cheek, like this. And then I go over it like that. Now I know that's not the proper way to do it and it's probably not safe. So if you are going to do it, be careful. Now for the other side. Yep. Okay, so once you're done uh, doing the little shaveroo, then wash off your face and you should have clean tight lines like that so so I'm tight and clean now tight and clean thank you for watching the tight and clean tutorial and I think what I should be doing now is going out to celebrate let's go to a ball care to join me? let's go Yeah, you do. Do you go hand on your face? I think you do. I, th I see it. I see it on your face. Okay. Then you're on.